If you own a restaurant, you know that reviews and SEO are the lifeblood of your business. Today, we're going to take a look at how can you be a savvy marketer, be the most findable restaurant online, and spend the least amount of money getting there. If you own a restaurant, you know how challenging it is to become findable online. You probably have a ton of people walking in every day trying to sell you some new marketing strategy. I'm going to show you as a restaurant owner or a hospitality group how you can dive deeper into your findability based on how your pr prospective audience is searching and how you can show up to them in the exact way they search. I'm going to show you a tool called KeywordsEverywhere.com. Very simple to install. Just go to Keywords everywhere.com and we're going to show you how the keywords that people are searching are the best way for you to show up for them. So let's take a look at my search results. I just searched for Pizza Restaurants Denver. I love a good pizza. But Pizza Restaurants Denver, you know, is it pizza delivery? Is it, you know, is it going to be like Domino's or is it going to be like something really spectacular? I've had enough Domino's in my life. I'm ready for something a little more interesting. So what we're going to take a look at is what shows up on a search result page is incredibly important to restaurants. Now, primarily because it's all local driven, meaning where I'm at right now, my IP address right now is going to match up with how you have your restaurant listed. So the first thing you'll see here is you've got Google local business listings. So what you'll see here is you've got pizza on this page. It's all over. I've got Blue Pan Pizza West Highlands, Marco Cold Fired Pizza, Ian's Pizza Denver. So that's great. It's got, all of them have pizza in the description. But take a look at this. If you come over, Keywords Everywhere will show you exactly how people are searching for pizza. Now, I can, of course, Pizza Denver or Best Pizza Denver is always going to be like the brass ring of keywords. But there's only 10 results on a search result page. So that can be pretty challenging. So let's take a look. Pizza Restaurants Denver gets 260 searches per month. That's a lot over the course of a year. Now, now that we know that that's where people are hanging out, we got to figure out like, what are the clubs? Where do the people hang out? And they hang out in different spots in Google search results. So if we figure out where they're hanging out, then we can market to them specifically based on where they're at. Let's jump over to the actual keyword everywhere data. Keywords Everywhere, you'll see here, puts the data right inside the search results on a Google search result page. So some other ways I may want to think about is Denver Pizza Company. Hmm, okay, that gets 1,600 searches a month. How about Best Pizza Delivery in Denver, 390 searches a month. Pizza Near Me, Denver, 390 searches a month. Best Pizza in Downtown Denver, 210. Denver, Colorado Pizza, 20 searches. So look at all the different ways that people are searching. They're searching for company. They're searching for best. Best is an incredibly powerful phrase. If you have ever been given an award, you've, run, you've won something that indicates that you're the best, optimize for the word best. So some of the most powerful converting keywords on the internet are best, affordable, and cheap. <laughs> and all the business owners are like, I don't want cheap. Be careful with that because cheap is actually, they're just looking for a good deal. It doesn't mean they're not going to spend money. They just want the best deal possible. So best, affordable, and cheap are going to be your three biggest trigger words, we call them, to getting in front of people that normally wouldn't even know about who you are but should. Now, let's take a look at scroll down and see what else we can find. Now, we have, of course, Yelp. Yelp is sort of the big bad boy of restaurants. Keep in mind that Yelp is a search engine. So when you go in to optimize your restaurant, maybe your restaurant is Nicolo's. Now, Nicolo's is a family name. It's been in your business. It's been in your family business forever. I get it. But you've got to balance that with what you do. So based on the search volume that I'm seeing, I would do Nicolo's Best Pizza in Denver. Now, what that does is it says, yes, I'm going to find you for Nicolo's, but then I'm also going to find you for Best Pizza Denver, which gets 390 searches a month. I want some of that action. When you start balancing the restaurant phrase, like your Nicolo's, and then your best pizza in Denver, you add that to your Google local listing. You add that to your Yelp listing. 
and now you instantly become findable to people who don't know who you are, but are searching for best pizza or best pizza restaurant Denver. Those are the client kind of clients you want. And then you have to create a page that says, look, we've won all these awards and here's all of our Google reviews. And you can show them all the reasons why you are the best pizza restaurant in Denver. Let's keep going down. So that's how we deal with Yelp. Let's see what else. So there's always those sort of outliers. There's um, in the local community, there's a website called Westward. It's one of those newspapers you can pick out in front of any of the major grocery stores or any of the, a lot of the restaurants have them too. But a lot of people use that as, um, as ways to find new uh, restaurants. So Westward, they're featured as Denver's best pizza by style, which is kind of interesting. Then the next one is Thrillist. Thrillist is also another restaurant. They do actually all entertainment entities, but they have a very specific section on Thrillist. So if you could go and you're thinking about where do I spend my money, you're going to go and you're going to see Westward. How do I get in there? They're already ranking in search results. Then you're going to go to Thrillist.com. How can I maybe buy an ad in there? So I'm findable on that page. You're going to where people are hanging out. You want to find the clubs. You want to th go create marketing materials based on how people are already searching. That's when you're able to grow your business to people who don't know you exist but should and not spend a fortune doing that. When you try to go after too many strategies, it gets muddied really quickly. So pick one or two strategies and go after those. See who comes up on search results for your restaurant type. Go nuts. Think about Uber Eats. I search for pizza in Uber Eats or I search for sandwiches or Mexican food. These are search engines, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Yelp, they're all search engines. So think about not from how you want to market your restaurant, but how am I searching as a potential customer for what you have in your restaurant. This is the real change in thinking that you have to have as a restaurant owner. Stop buying all these willy-nilly, one-off online marketing and start thinking more about who wants to eat your food and why should I come to your restaurant? I've been a business owner. I know how hard it is to run a business and it's so hard for you to know the snake oil from the real deal. So if you like this content, make sure to follow my channel, hit the bell so that you can be notified of my daily, easy, empowering tips to make you the most findable restaurant online. Whoa.